Hello, everybody, and welcome back to Lake, Episode 3. I'm not going to spend a lot of time jibber-jabbering in the beginning here because we have a busy schedule moving forward. Uh, we have our day-to-day -day tasks to do within the game, and as the uh, story unfolds, it's going to get a little bit more in-depth. And on top of all that, we have to continue on our journey to unlock those hidden secret achievements. So... I'm recording this video in 4K. I am not quite sure if I'm going to render it in 4K. Just to give you a heads up, it might be 2K, which is perfectly acceptable. Uh, reason being is the 4K files are absolutely massive. So they're massive to render. It takes an hour to render uh, a half an hour to 40 minute video. And then it takes an hour and a half to upload it in 4K and then a full 24 hours for YouTube to process it into the 4K HD. So that's a long time, and I'd like to get these episodes out to you a little quicker. So I don't know what I'm going to do quite yet. I'm going to run some tests after editing this video, but uh, you know better than me because you're watching it right now. <laughs> so I'm also going to really strive to make these episodes about 20 to 25 minutes, but the goal, I really want that bar set more to 20 minutes because that's also going to help with rendering upload time. So I hope you enjoy the video length. I feel the 40 minute video was a little long for most people. So um, I'm going to shorten that down a bit. Let me know what you think about all this in the comments section if you don't mind. Let's stop wasting time and let's get right to it. I hope you enjoy. All right, so here we go. Another quick special shout out to uh, my friend Quick Kiwi. He helped me out with the uh, getting the Xbox controller to work. And also a special shout out additionally to my friend Landy Kid. Uh, he watched one of the videos and uh, told me that the microphone, my audio, sounded a little too bassy, my voice. So uh, I'm going to hopefully cut down on that in editing. And uh, you guys let me know what you think. So thank you very much, Quick Kiwi. And thank you very much, Landy Kid. I really appreciate the input. All right, let's get going. So we'll get in the van, and then we'll see what we have to do. Good morning, P.O. Okay. Hopefully the radio will be off. I turned the music off on this one. Uh, so they have some, like, three songs that are play over and over. So it's a little repetitive after you've been playing a while. So... Um, like I said, perfectly nice music, but uh, if you're playing the game for a while, um, it can get a little repetitive. So let's see, the f the first set of packages is up north there, so one's right around the corner, so we'll start there. All right, got to get used to using the controller here. Okay, I might have to make some adjustments for the next one. It's a little sensitive. Another beautiful morning. So it looks like we're going to go right up here on that gray house on the corner. Sorry for the camera bouncing around there, folks. So this is going to be an envelope. That's 110, and that is 110. Okay. Now, I think from this point, we got to go back uptown. Let's see. Yeah, so it might make sense to pull a Yui, and it looks like we're going to deliver a package to the video shack. So if our kind resident doesn't mind, we'll turn around in the driveway here. That's right, we're visiting our lovely friend Angie. And boy, is she open early in the morning. We're not forgetting packages today. <laughs> All right, 351 Main. And pick that up. Good job, Meredith. Good job. The Flick Shack. Can't believe I called it the Flick Snack in the last episode. Sounds gross, doesn't it? <laughs> Oh, 
Hello again. More mail for me? And the tape you gave me. Oh, wow. You watched it already? A drifter in a sleepy town, an affair, and a plot to kill a husband? <laughs> Not about mail delivery at all. But still pretty compelling, especially for such an old movie. It's a classic, and probably my favorite noir. They did a remake a couple years back, but it's, well, it's not as good. You can't beat Lana Turner's smoldering intensity. Yeah, she's great in it. I'm so glad you liked it. Most of the people here don't really appreciate the art of classic cinema. They just want to see Police Academy again. <laughs> I'm afraid you're right. Pretty lonely, being the only movie buff around. Well, keep feeding my VCR and I'll be up to speed in no time. Will do. Let me think about it and I'll get back to you. You know, it's good to see you. Any particular reason? Because I have a sneaky little plan. Oh, we're whispering now? I want you to meet me, say, at at five today. Is that the plan? <laughs> no, but it's where I'll discuss the plan. You in? I say we're in. All right. I'm in. Hurrah! I'll see you this afternoon. Wait, where are we meeting up? Your place. It's 102 New Street, right? Oh. I hope that she got the address from her account information on file and hasn't been uh, stalking. <laughs> yes. How did you find that out? Looked up your last name in the Rolodex. Your parents are regular clients. Oh, okay. That's a little ambitious. <laughs> I guess, but... It's settled then. See you at five, partner. Okay, partner. <laughs> now, if I wasn't recording, if I was playing myself, I'd probably uh, walk a couple of blocks. But the game doesn't rush you, so I don't want to rush the game. But at the same time... Time, you know, we have to kind of keep uh, keep those video times in mind. Okay. Let's see. How do you walk faster with the controller? That's one thing I got to figure out. Four hundred one main. There we go. Walk a little faster. Four hundred three main. Yeah, we're getting our exercise. So we actually have an envelope to deliver down this little side street. Now let's see, is she going to hit me if I do a, uh, can I do a full turnaround? Yeah, good wheelbase on this thing. I'm guessing it's going to be that brown house. We gotta finish our route today because we got a date with Angie. <laughs> hmm. These look like bills. Nice little cul de sac. This reminds me of uh, a little street that I lived on when I was a kid back east. Small little street in my school. I was right up at the top of the street. <laughs> so there was no getting out of that. Walked out the door and walked up to the end of the street and boom. Okay. So it looks like we're going to turn right after the general store. Ooh, I got to watch. I'll take down a lamppost. And we'll take this left. And look both ways. Make sure we don't kill any pedestrians either. I don't think... Yeah, I did see pedestrians at one point in the first episode. People walking in and out of the general store. I haven't seen many walking, uh, you know, just generally around the town or down here by the lake. All right. This must be this little... Looks like a little trailer home. Package, Meredith. Two. 
That's lighter than I thought. That's a 104, so it must be the next one over. Now, let's see. Ring the bell. Um, no, Meredith. We want to knock on the door. Thank you. Don't make me look bad. Nope. No answer. Drop the package. Hope nobody comes and steals this. <laughs> I think you'd catch the crook pretty quickly. I suspect everybody knows everybody in this town. <laughs> okay. Let's have a quick look at the map and uh, we'll figure out which way we're going to go next. Looks like it's going to be at the diner again, a package. Okay, make sure nobody's coming. Ooh, 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 ooh. I got a little ambitious there. <laughs> uh, I'm going to plow right through the front of the diner. Now, I hope she doesn't hold us up trying to shove pie and coffee in us again. Of course, that's not the worst thing. <laughs> Hi, Maureen. Hi, hon. How are you doing this fine day? I'm fine, but how are you? You know, with the kitchen exploding? Oh, that? <laughs> Nothing a fresh lick of paint and a mop couldn't fix. <laughs> Doesn't mean to scare you. <laughs> Let's pick up where we left off, shall we? And one piece of blueberry pie? Ashley, one blueberry pie. Meredith Wise, back in Providence Oaks. How's life treating you, darling? It's all right, actually. I delivered a package to Kay at her house earlier. Yes, yeah, she told me. How did that go for you? I think I put my foot in it, to tell you the truth. I can imagine it can be a lot to take in for the both of you, especially after being away for so long. Then again, there are some things that never change, right? My wife has been suspecting that uh, maybe Kay wound up marrying Meredith's old boyfriend. You know, the one she had the first kiss with? That's what my wife suspects. So as this unfolds, we'll have to see. Well, this diner sure did. Glad you noticed. Even the name changed. Yeah, I decided it was time for a change. Didn't feel the same after my stand died. World keeps turning. Gotta keep moving along with it, right? Oh my gosh, Maureen. Stan died? I'm so sorry. I, I had no idea. Thank you, darling. But it's really okay. It's been ten years already. Ten and a half, almost. Oh, boy, did I love that man. Oh, we've been married for so long. It hit me like a brick. But after a while, I decided that sadness wasn't the only emotion I was allowed to have. That's not what Stan would have wanted either. I don't mean to sound insensitive, Maureen, but uh, how's that pie? <laughs> Sounds like you went through a lot. Thank you, hon. I do appreciate that. Anyway, you have to get back up. So I did. For me, but also for Kay. <sighs> she took her uncle's death pretty hard. I wish I'd known. Sorry for dumping all that on you like that, darling. Gosh, look at your face. I'm a bit surprised you didn't know. Didn't your parents tell you about it? Or Kay? They might have. I've been so involved in work. Oh, uh, it's okay, hon. I honestly don't give a hoot about any blame game. We all have our lives to live, but Kay's been through a lot. Uh, nursed her uncle through his illness, helping me out. I think seeing you again shook her up a little, is all. She must have missed you during those days. I can imagine. You know what would really make us both feel better, Maureen? A nice piece of pie. <laughs> it was good to see her again. I've missed her too. Then, it sounds like you know what to do. Listen, Meredith. Time marches on. And eventually, you realize it's marching across your face. Life's too <laughs> short. That's exactly why I decided this place could do with a repurpose after Stan passed. Fresh start. It's been Moe's Diner ever since. And believe it or not, business is better than ever. That's great to hear, Maureen. Congratulations. Why, thank you kindly. And listen, you check in with me and Kay again soon, you hear? 
don't forget about what's important in life. Ah, uh, there we go. <laughs> <laughs> Says the woman who forgot my blueberry pie. What the? Ashley? What happened to that pie? I'm so sorry, honey. I swear that kid. <laughs> it's okay, Maureen. I have a feeling I'll be back soon anyway. Huh? I'll hold you to that. You bet. Bye, Maureen. All right. So that's how come it's named Moe's Diner. Because uh, Mo is short for Maureen. Anybody that didn't know that, now you know. And that is the second time we've been screwed out of blueberry pie. Let's go left and see what happens. And I'll do some jump cuts along the way because you've been around the lake with me before. Okay, I know it's holding this up a little bit, but this is for my friend Aiden, who's been watching the videos. We're going to see what this crop is, Aiden. Maybe. Looks like wheat, because if it was barley, it would have the little whiskers on top. So I'm going to go with wheat. My wife wanted me to beep the horn next time I went through the tunnel. <laughs> Safety first. I'm going to take a left here. park right here is it should be this house with the brown wagon in front of it yeah it is we'll just pull up here and go and there we go okay so go out and take a right past the gas station again see I drove right by oh you could do autopilot now I wonder if that was there before and I missed it. Cool. It's driving all by itself. Okay, do we really want to approach this man while he's swinging an axe? There's a face I remember. Good morning, Mr. Harris. Hey there. More paperwork with my name on it? Well, take a look for yourself. Thanks. Oh, it gets worse every day. More bullcrap? Can you believe it? I've been taking care of this lakeside for years. And now they're going to bulldoze it and build apartments. Oh, man, that's that does suck. Oh, that's a shame. I'd hate to see the place I grew up ruined by an apartment building. What? You grew up here? Yes, my father was the mailman before me. Mr. Weiss. Ah, oh, so you're the prodigy he's always talking about. <laughs> Wouldn't surprise me. But tell me about that paperwork. They say you can file an official objection, but I'm not a great match with bureaucracy. I'd rather get the chainsaw and cut down Town Hall. <laughs> Let's go with this and see what he says. Nothing a chainsaw can't handle. <laughs> Just kidding. It's a nice thought, though. Well, maybe I can help out. I'm better with paper than chainsaws. Would you? Awesome. I'll think about it. Have a great day. Bye, Robert. Hey, wait up. I'm done thinking about it. Maybe you'd want to go through all the files together tomorrow afternoon at Moe's. Food and drinks on me. Wah, wah, wah. <laughs> mm, sure. Who can say no to food and drinks at Moe's? Awesome. I'll see you there then. I'll bring all the paperwork. Okay. Bye. All right, everybody. So the old clock on my phone tells me that this is a good time to finish this episode up. I want to thank you very much for watching. I look forward to talking with you down in the comment section. And if you're watching this video the day it's released, please know that episode four is already in the works. So stay tuned for that as well. So until next time, take great care of yourself, okay? And bye for now.